This is some of the top Angus cattle in the country, with bloodlines and traits to prove their value. We try to provide our Angus breeders and commercial Angus bull buyers a selection tools so they can make genetic improvement in their herd. Those tools have now been taken to a new level. At the annual American Angus Association meeting, their top researcher said they can now offer Angus producers genomic enhanced expected progeny differences, or EPDs. We are currently implementing this technology. So if you were an Angus bull buyer and you're looking at a sale catalog, those carcass EPDs are genomically enhanced with this latest profile technology. EPDs are not new. The Angus Association says it's been a reliable tool for years. But by coupling EPDs with specific genetic information, that's what has the Angus Association excited. Provide breeders with the most up-to-date technology in incorporating identity genomic profiles into our existing evaluation and allowing breeders to use these tools to make better cattle, make better products. So we can ascertain whether or not the animal has favorable uh, genes for marbling, tenderness, growth, feed efficiency, any one of a number of different traits. Traits that would be very difficult to measure otherwise. In a day-old animal, we can actually get a very good view of that animal's genetic merit for those hard-to-measure traits. Before this technology, cattle producers would take measurements and feed analysis as the animal grew. Once he bred, the producer would then analyze the offspring. That could be a three to four year process. On the other hand, if we could understand the, the genome sequence and use the information from the genome, we could actually take a hair sample or a blood sample when the animal was one day of age, analyze that, and make a prediction about his genetic merit as a one day old calf. Blood samples are taken and the animal is given an ID number. Once the lab work is complete, the results are added to a massive database. We also calculate our carcass evaluation to generate these EPDs on a weekly basis. And that's really never been done before in the beef cattle industry. With DNA added to the EPD, the data will help producers identify not only the desirable qualities, marbling, feed efficiency, and fat thickness, but also the risk of genetic abnormalities. In Louisville, Kentucky, this is West Mills reporting for Ag Day.